to be joined in the studio by professional photographer Dominic Lee, who's going to talk about his latest book, and it's called Out of Your Tree 2, Dominic, I believe. This is your second book now. That's right. I, I brought out the first one in 2005, and um, I raised uh, €36,000 from the first one for the Central Remedial Clinic. Um, this one is going equally as well. We've already donated €20,000 to the Irish Cancer Society just, just a few weeks ago. And... Um, and the other good news is that we've now reduced the price of the book from thirty euro down to fifteen euro. It's a beautiful book, isn't it? I mean, it's it's uh, there's some really ma- marvelous pictures in it. It's very very glossy. It's you know, and you've got a lot of people. I mean, where did the idea come from? You you, you went around and you you photographed different sort of people or celebrities, as they're called. Uh, um, well, it's in a it's different, in their own environment, but uh, something that uh, like a hobby of theirs, basically. In, in their hobby mode, yeah, yeah it's yeah. all about people's hobbies. So um, <clears throat> it's it's just the idea came originally from just trying to come up with a um, a, a little kind of display in my shop, in my sh- studio window, in in, mm-hmm. in Priory Studios in Stillorgan, and <clears throat> of local business people, and th- then I, I, I displayed the the work at a, at a golf outing in um, the the, the Stillorgan Chamber of Commerce. Mm-hmm. And a few people said to me, "You know, you've got the makings of a book there." So I decided to to uh, to better add some uh, sort of famous people to to help to sell it. So yeah. I, I approached, um, you know, at the time the first book, Bertie Hearn making hanging baskets, um, <laughs> Sharon, really? Sharon Core doing the crossword puzzle. Excuse me, <coughs> and. Um, uh, Sister Stanislaus Kennedy fly fishing in the Liffey, things like that. So oh, it's very, it, yeah. it shows a side of people that that uh, most people wouldn't would never know. Yeah, it's know a about. it's a really good idea. Now I'm just looking through the book here. You see pictures of Amy Huberman, Michael Flatley, Richard Branson. I mean, you must have uh, you've been to a lot of interesting places and meeting you know all these interesting people. That's right. I mean, uh, I went to Michael Flatley's home in L.A. to to photograph that, and then um, he, he, his hobby is collecting antique flutes. So he has the collection down in in his house in Formoy so I then went to the house in Formoy um, you know the, the week later to, mm-hmm. to get to get a photograph of his collection of, of wooden flutes yeah. so very very nice guy actually yeah and but I mean how hard would it be to get access to likes of Michael Flatley and Richard Branson it must have been very very difficult you must have had a, a long sort of trail uh, of people to go through to get to actually these these well, people um, how accessible were they they weren't as accessible as you, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm down the bottom of the book. <laughs> you are I'm in like there. Like the dregs down at the, <laughs> no, down no, at the no, bottom. No, 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 no. It's actually, it's actually, to be honest with you, it's 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 from having people like you in the book mm. that that actually enable me to 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 encourage me to get these other people because. Um, you kindly agreed to do it, and when I can, when I would then write to these people and say, "Look, I've got you know Ken Doherty, and I've got um, you know Roland so Flood, true. and I've got yeah. uh, Richard Branson, and so on," and the and the others say, "Well, if it's if it's good enough for Ken Doherty, it's good enough for me." <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, how was Michael Flatley then uh, when you went to, when you went to see him? Fantastic guy, yeah. absolutely. I mean, I was I was. Uh, I don't read the gossip columns and all that, so I didn't really uh, have any history of the guy, to be honest with you, but. Um, I was just so impressed with the guy. He's lovely. He's lovely a very guy. down-to-earth guy, oh, isn't he? Unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, it's just like uh, um, you, 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 when you go to these things, you kind of there, there's there's a sort of a um, a feeling of of you're, you're going to meet somebody. Um, who's from a different planet or something yeah, yeah, but when yeah. you actually meet you have meet a different them, perception of them you do yeah, and when yeah. you actually meet them it's like sitting in the, in, in the pub uh, you know having a pint with a, a guy that you never met before and it's just it's just so yeah. ordinary and he has a know? beautiful home down there in Castle Hyde oh amazing but not only that oh, you get to meet him but he brings you into his house and you get to see yeah. his house and everything yeah have had, had lunch with him I mean it's just it's just great, great experience I mean that's the thing about the book that I really really enjoyed I mean one 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 weekend I was in in, in LA with, you know, having lunch with Michael Flatley, and mm. the, the next week I was in um, Necker Island with with the, and in the Caribbean with Richard Branson. You know, and Richard Branson uh, from the book I see he, he enjoys uh, kite, surfing, kite surfing. Yeah, yeah. And this is this is his home, is it? A that, picture in the book as well. That's that's his house in in, in the Caribbean. Is this know? his island? Because does that's he own the island? He owns he the island. Yeah, and he owns the next one as well. Beside it, when when, when you're actually when you're in when you're in that house there. And you you step out uh, to the toilet or the shower from your room. Mm-hmm. You're you're there's nothing there's no wall there. You know it's just it's just you're just looking out onto the sea. Yeah, and <laughs> you're having your shower and there's just the sea right there. You know, oh, fantastic. Um, and and, uh, and what was he like as a person? Again, really nice, very ordinary guy. He's he's a workaholic. Even when he's uh, sunbathing, I spent a week there and. Um, 
I spent four days waiting for the wind to whip up so he could actually get, get the, out on get, the, get the kite up. That wasn't too bad, was it? <laughs> <laughs> and, and Things you have to do. Oh, God, yeah, <laughs> in the name of charity. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and um, but 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 it's it's it's. Uh, it's, it's a very ordinary guy again just played pool with him had lunch with him and dinner with him and uh, you know very ordinary guy really mm. really nice guy and who was well I mean who would probably be would he be probably the most famous person that, I mean there's so many in there but no you're in there kid <laughs> no 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 no. <laughs> I mean wh- where else has it taken you because it's taken you to the Caribbean yeah Antarctica to Antarctica yeah and who did you uh, I went down there well I didn't um, I didn't Actually, know who I was going to photograph when I went there, but yeah. I, I went. I went there for 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 a month with my son Rob, who who incidentally, I have a photograph of you um, uh, kicking the ball in the back garden. Yeah, <laughs> but you, you you actually um, there's one photograph of you where you picked him up and sat him on the snooker table and you're showing him how to hold the cue. And he was only he's only a little fella at the time. And now he's probably six foot tall. He is. Yeah. <laughs> if you're yeah. able to pick me up, exactly. I'm probably on the snooker table. <laughs> <laughs> he would. So yeah, you'd be looking up at him now, all right, yeah. So this is uh, Frank Quinn, is it? So yeah, uh, Fr- Frank um, owns a couple of pubs around um, Balls Bridge. So I photographed him um, uh, on South Georgia on the on the way to Antarctica. Um, his hobby is trekking, so um, mm. that he's there in that sort of uh, s- one of the one of the, the trekkers across the mountain there, and then there's a close up of him there with this um, his bottle of Rockwell water. <laughs> But I must say, it's it's a really uh, beautiful book. And how long did it actually take to to put it all together? About two years. Two um, years. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I wouldn't. Um, I'd photograph um, maybe maybe one or two people a month. You know that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it wasn't sort of two years work as such. You know. So I'd only go out maybe once or twice a month and. and devote a day or so to to, uh, to a particular picture, you know. And, and if anybody was uh, wanting to buy something like this now, where, where would they be able to pick it up? Is it is it available like mainstream or is well, it well, only it's, available it's, online? Or? It, it was. I mean, it's it's kind of run its course in the bookshops now, and so they can now so they can now book it online. Um, uh, it's, it's de- and it's reduced because we've donated twenty thousand to the Irish Cancer Society. have reduced the price down to fifteen euro now, and it's available through. Um, my own website priorystudios.ie or, or they can get it from the Irish Cancer Society either uh, they That's must be delighted with uh, you know it's selling so many books so you must have sold quite a number then yeah 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 it's gone very well yeah it's, it's, and it's, this is your second book your first one came out a, a few years ago that's right yeah two th- 2005 yeah Oh, that's fantastic! So that's great. That's great. It's a really beautiful book, and it's it's certainly well worth the money. And of course, it's gone for a great cause. Yeah. And it's uh, called Out of Your Tree Too, and it's available from PrivateShooters.ie. That's it. And we're, we're uh, Laura is over there. It's Laura Spielberg over there. The video camera. <laughs> she's going to do. <laughs> she's going to do a little video. Um, uh, she's done a little video of the interview. I'm going to put that on on our Out of Your Tree uh, Facebook forward slash Out of Your Tree. Okay. So. Um, you can check out the details over there. Okay, hope people don't get too scared of looking at us in the studio here. <laughs> but anyway, Dominic, it's a fantastic idea and well done. Congratulations on, 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 on raising so much money for, for a much needed cause. And thanks to you for being in it in the first place. No problem, my pleasure. Okay, thank you very much for coming in. We're going to take a, a quick break.